Hey guys, it's me Stormy and here's your weekly two-week horoscope for the weeks of June 4th and also June 11th, taking us to Father's Day where I've got a beautiful Father's Day giveaway with you in collaboration with La Men's Jewelry. So make sure that you come over and like La Men's page or Instagram or Facebook page or my page and you can be in the running for that Father's Day Chakra Blaze bracelet. If you like the Mother's Day bracelet or if you had a chance to check out some of her beautiful inventory, click in the description box down below so you can see it and get entered, fellas, to uh, win that bracelet. Now it's going to be an interesting couple weeks, I think. For the rest of this week, what we've got going on is really kicking off on the 6th. We had um, a lot of Gemini energy floating around because the Gemini sun is floating around. We've got Gemini birthday time on our hands right now, as well it's been in conjunction with Mercury, and this is a beautiful energy to have. The sun wants to shine bright, wants to be seen, wants to be recognized, wants to be known. Mercury wants to communicate, right? So we have, I want to be known, meets a very comfortable conversational kind of energy. And this is beautiful. Now, what happened on the 6th, though, which I will tell you for the rest of the week, I think stays very much so in place, so please consider this energy, is all of this beautiful Gemini kind of energy bonks into Neptune energy, which when we have Neptune meets communication energy, sometimes this is miscommunication. This is not a great energy, you guys, especially from the 6th and the 7th and the 8th to sign new contracts. If you're trying to sign a new contract, make some kind of decision. It's almost as if you don't have all the details. Neptune kind of clouds this um, conversational piece. It clouds the judgment a little. Now, where is this phenomenal? Where can you use this, right? Is you can use this in forgiveness, compassion, creativity, thinking between the worlds, right? Just because it doesn't completely make sense um, intellectually doesn't mean that it's not a good idea, right? But give it a couple days to weigh that out. Whatever it is, Neptune can actually bring a layer of energy to this that's quite mystical and magical, but you just don't want to get yourself locked into anything you can't get out of, okay? Now, as we're looking here at the week of June 11th, first and foremost, we've got a new moon that happens to be a super moon, even though it's a dark moon <laughs> happening this week. We've got two sign changes and we've got a couple bumps in the road with a square and an opposition. So let's talk through that. First of all, Tuesday, June 12th, what we've got going on is Mercury making its way out of Gemini, moving into Cancer, which changes the way we're going to start to talk about things over the next few weeks, right? Instead of things being very quick thinking, sharp, analytical, we've got these details, savvy, right? Conversation moves to an emotional, nurturing, secure kind of place. So instead of having this completely mental space of logic, it's all logical, it's all intellectual, we move into the place of emotion right? How does this conversation feel? Which is a really interesting thought when we're talking about Mercury, right? But what it does tell us is that your conversations, decisions, your thinking may be driven a lot by emotions. Now, where I think this is beautiful, because it's a wonderful place to make connection with other people, right? It's a wonderful place to know yourself. Where it is not always the strongest place to make decisions out of is emotions. Emotions are shady. They're wonderful. They're beautiful, but they are shady because they change so quickly. So you need a more solid place to make a good decision for yourself. So just make sure you have a nice sounding board, but then enjoy the emotional beauty. We're human. The law large range of emotional spectrum that we have is a gift to us. So really get in there and enjoy that. Now on Wednesday, June 13th, light, bright, beautiful, loving kind of energy. We've got the new moon happening in Gemini, which is a very light energy, right? Like Gemini likes to keep it light, likes to keep it easy. We don't need to get super deep. We can have a little bit more superficiality, which is not a bad thing all the time, okay? At the same time, Venus is moving over into Leo, so we've got our big-hearted sign, our big-hearted Leo, self-expression, joy. Leo's the joy sign, meets Venus who wants love, harmony, beauty, diplomacy, this is a wonderful energy. Now at the new moon, this is a chance for us to start something new, right? Fresh beginnings, plant these seeds of intention. So with this energy, some of the things that you could be working on is um, making new social 
connections, making new friends, things like that. Gemini is a social. It's a networking energy. Venus wants to bring the beauty and warmth of people to you. Leo wants to express and play and do these kinds of things. So you may also be taking a risk, bringing some kind of new study, new information, new group of people into your world. But whatever it is, it's light, it's fun, it's easy, it's diplomatic. It's looking to create some new harmony into your life. So really, really breathe that in, okay? Now, at the same time as we're looking at these energies, and it's beautiful, it's great for a party, it's great for anything social, we also have a couple hard energies that come into play as well. So first of all, we're going to have Venus and Uranus in a square with each other here on Thursday, June the 14th. This puts a little bit of a like blip on the map, right? But at the same time, we have got Mercury coming into an opposition with Saturn. Now, with Venus, Uranus, this can just create a surprise, an upset, a change to relationships, finances, social things going on. So this could be a surprising energy that comes to the table. The surprise is not always a negative one. Maybe you've been needing to get shaken up, right? Maybe you haven't really been finding joy, really playing, expressing yourself, laughing, taking some new risks. Maybe you need something to shake you up because remember in astrology, a square puts us under pressure and says, hey, I'm going to put you under enough pressure that you're going to take a new action to get out from being uncomfortable. So you will grow with this. It's an absolutely beautiful energy. Now, the Saturn and Mercury opposition that's happening on Friday, um, June 15th, Mercury being in opposition to Saturn, Mercury wants to be quick, wants to be savvy, wants to go, wants to make these decisions, wants to do this. And Saturn says, that's great, but I want you to be grounded. I disagree with something that you're doing. I want you to bring this to a more grounded level. So that could be what's happening in your thinking. And here you are with the surprise just a day before, right? And now you've got to bring this super mature thinking or decision making to the table. So don't be surprised if you feel really pressed as we get towards the end of the week or your thinking feels a little bit heavier. It's okay. It's just Saturn and Mercury right here saying, hey, I need you to grow up. Now, the other thing that could be happening here is that someone is showing you a behavior that you don't care for, but they're mirroring, mirroring it to you. And opposition is our mirror. Someone's holding that big old mirror up to you. So I'll be interested to see what you see in yourself as we get to the end of the week. Now, as we do end the week, we get to Father's Day on the 17th. How gorgeous. And we've got a big, old, brave, bold moon in Leo. That is a beautiful place to be representing that Papa energy, right? Now, regardless of what your relationship is with um, your father, whatever that situation is, just like I tell you with your mother, regardless of what your relationship situations or belief is about it, we got to be grateful for both of our parents because whatever has happened since then, it's because of them that we got here right? They did help create the spacesuit that got us here. So in that way, we can be grateful because even if it was a crap relationship or the most beautiful relationship on the planet, in creating you in this lifetime, you've been given the opportunity to create something beautiful for somebody else. And that is an absolutely amazing gift. So Father's Day is going to be having a lot of love because that's the way that Leo does it. And Leo also likes to give gifts. And I like to give gifts. And Lumans likes to give gifts, so we've got jewelry, chakra bracelets, and the like for you this week. So follow all the cool instructions in the description box down below. And I look forward to seeing you next week while well, I have a special guest around here. And we're also doing individual, yes, for each sign, horoscopes for you next week. So make sure you check it out, participate in this until the 17th. And I will also see you next week and check on, on each of you signs, okay? I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.